Welcome to The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. A San Diego City Council member wants to stiffen the penalties for people caught distributing hate speech flyers after several anti-Semitic flyers were left on car windshields recently. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us from the Temple Emanuel in Del Cerro with more on what this council member is proposing. Kelly. Well, Council Member Raul Campillo lives in Del Cerro. Uh, he says he walks through this neighborhood. He's seen those anti-Semitic flyers, and he says he's gotten a lot of complaints about them. He says one of the biggest problems, though, is that there's no real consequences for distributing them. It's simply littering, and that is only punishable by an infraction, like running a stop sign uh, or jaywalking when it used to be uh, an infraction. Uh, right now, there is no further penalty other than a ticket, uh, which means we're just really not taking this type of behavior very seriously. And so he says it's time to toughen the penalties. Alongside Jewish leaders and the Anti-Defamation League of San Diego, he announced today he's working on legislation with the city attorney's office that would elevate distributing hate speech flyers to a misdemeanor, which means it would be punishable by fines and up to a year in jail. San Diego police tell me since July, there have been eight reported incidents of these anti-Semitic flyers littering neighborhoods. Uh, they say whoever's doing it is doing it during the overnight hours. Now, I spoke to a member of the Jewish community who lives in Del Cerro. He says he woke up to find these flyers in his neighborhood about a month ago. He calls it disgusting. I just couldn't believe that this was going on in our neighborhood. You read about it, that it goes on in other parts of the country, but never thought it would get us. Since January, it's seen a 57% increase in anti-Semitic incidents reported to them here locally. You, you may remember the attack on a rabbi at a 7-Eleven store near SDSU back in July. Police put out these surveillance photos. Uh, they said the suspect was screaming anti-Semitic comments at the rabbi, then ripping off part of his religious clothing. Uh, police are investigating it as a hate crime. So back out here live, I asked for an update from police on that case today. They tell me they have identified a person of interest. Uh, but so far, no one is in custody. Heather and Carlo. And Kelly, what is the timeline on the council member's proposed ordinance here? So he says that he's working on the draft right now with the city attorney's office. Uh, once that's finished, it goes to the uh, public safety committee. Uh, but the goal here, he says, is to have it before the full council for a vote before the end of the year. Kelly Hessel reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.